welcome back to the Melbourne Club at Brockett Hall for the third leg of the 2018 Long Drive World Series. Yeah, with the knockout stages already underway, we've seen plenty of surprises and only four of the top seeded players are still left in the competition as we head into the quarter final stage. Yeah, the top seeds are tumbling, which means that two time world long drive champion and Brockett Hall member Joe Miller is the favourite on paper. But as we saw in the round of last 16, anything really is possible. It really is. So let's see how the quarter finalists line up. So eight are left in this head-to-head -head contest. Four matches to determine who goes through to the semi-finals. And it's an enthralling mix of established Long Drive World Series regulars and those coming through in qualifying. Into the quarter-finals then. And the first on the tee is the match between Timu Pitkinen and Ilya Djurjevic, two international players going head-to-head. -head. First up, it's Ilya Djurjevic as he gets into the action, one of the series regulars and hugely experienced. Three balls into the grid and the best of them breaks the 400 yard barrier, a massive 410 yards. There is surely no way Timu can beat that. The pressure is getting to him as he's hitting ball after ball out of bounds, missing the grid. Finally one in and it's a massive 399 yards, but it's not good enough. A final Powerball opportunity and that's it. The Serb is through to the semi-finals. Ilya, many congratulations. What's been the difference so far? Impressive hitting. Well, I just continued practicing and practicing hard, especially this season was not my best season. And uh, I can tell to anybody, if it's not a good season, keep practicing harder and believe in what you're doing. How happy were you with that strike? 410 yards. Oh, very happy. Very, very happy. Best of luck in the next round. Ilya, many congratulations. Give it up for Ilya, everybody. Now it's Joe Miller, who is the homegrown favourite. Rocket Hall is his club. And with the other top seeds falling away, he must fancy his chances. He's against qualifier James Wiltshire, who has done incredibly well to reach this stage. First up, it's James and some impressive drives here. He's hit 397 early on. Can he do it? His best effort is past 400. It's 402 yards. That is an impressive drive. Now it's Joe, and he must feel under pressure now. He seems to be struggling here. The first four drives have all missed the grid. But now he's in, and what a drive, equaling the longest of the day so far at 410 yards. So that's a power ball, and James can't match it. So Joe advances. Sent out a bit of a message to the others, do you think, after hitting that 4-0-3, then followed it up with a 4-10? Uh, I hope so, but uh, if there's any messages, there's a lot more out there than that, so uh, yeah, watch out. So Matt McCall takes on Bobby Bradley from the USA, who was sixth in Dubai and fifth in Mexico, so certainly has the experience. He drives for an incredible 423 yards and sets the bar super high for Matt Nicole, who came through in qualifying. Matt from Jersey in the UK is a PGA pro coach, so can he do it here? He's off the mark on the grid and into the 400 yards area. This is remarkable. His longest drive settles at an astonishing 439 yards, beating the mark by Bradley. That's amazing. A final Powerball chance for Bobby, and it's a sensational 434 yards, but still not good enough. And Matt is through. What a match and what a result. What a performance. Yeah, not bad. Um, been hitting it a little bit, you know, iffy all day, so I just wanted to put a good swing on it out there and uh, calm down a little bit towards the end and go on out there. Now in the last quarterfinal match, James Cook from South Africa is against Max Armstrong, the last of those nine qualifiers from day one. Jason is looking on form today, great style, and he's in the grid with a 408 yards drive, which is quite a mark to beat. But Max is up for it, nothing to lose, a few out of bounds, but he's in with 390 yards. And now a final Powerball chance, can he do it? No, it's out of bounds, great effort, but Jason Cook is into the semi-finals. Did you make of that 408, you happy? I'm happy for now. I think I can go a lot longer. Need to put in a bit, a bit more back. You're keeping something in the tank then? Is that you're keeping something back for the semi finals and hopefully for the, the final as well? I put in a lot there. Uh, hopefully there's a lot more in the tank. So here is the qualifying ladder, just four left. And the question being asked is can Joe Miller go all the way? <laughs> 